This is Scott Freeman, auctioneer at Auction 757. I'm here at the City of Norfolk impound lot, and this is going to be an auction that is scheduled for August the 15th. Uh, we have 65 vehicles in the auction uh, as of right now. Uh, of course, any of the vehicles are subject to be uh, redeemed or pulled from the auction, but right now that's what we have. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to walk around. If we have a key for the vehicle, we'll try to start it up, move it forward, move it backward, so you'll get an idea as to what we have. Um, we have an inspection here on site on Tuesday, August the 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We encourage you to come out and take a look at the vehicles before placing any bids. As always, uh, we would also recommend that you do a background check uh, using one of the third party uh, reporting agencies and may be able to give you some history on the vehicles. Unless we tell you so, there will be no titles with the vehicles. You'll get a bill of sale to uh, be able to send off to DMV to get your titles done. Please make sure that you read all the terms and conditions as they differ for each and every auction that we have. Should you have any questions, please uh, give us a call or a text. Uh, and all of the bidding is done uh, on our website at auction757.com. We're going to go in sequential order. So if you uh, are looking at something that you see the picture and want to skip over to lot number 60 or whatever the uh, lot may be that is uh, uh, further along in the video, just grab the little bar down at the bottom and scroll across until you get to that particular lot and then you can see everything that um, uh, I'm going to show you uh, for that particular vehicle. All right, hopefully uh, this will help you and uh, please make sure that you come out on that Tuesday, August the 13th. Okay, we're gonna get it started now with lot number one, uh, no key on this one. This is a 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Uh, once again, no key on it. And we're going to walk around. I'll point out uh, anything that I see that may be glaring. Uh, you know, is a, a dent, ding, uh, uh, gunshot holes, whatever the case may be. I'll try to point it out to you as I walk along. Uh, you know, minor scuffs and things. I may uh, point it out, uh, like you can see right there on the back of this one. Uh, some minor scuffs here and there. I don't see a whole lot major going on. You know, some peeling paint right there on the deck right there and a couple of spots as we come down the side here uh, it's pushed back in a little bit here we have an issue with the uh, fender area right in there it's not aligning right uh, so coming back up to the front and that's going to be a look at lot number one your 2012 hyundai sonata lot number two coming up and this is going to be a 2003 volkswagen beetle no key on the beetle look down the side of it over here you can see the window is there it is down not sure why uh, if there's an issue with it uh, but uh, since it is down and open uh, there's a look at what i can see uh, just looking in peeking in and we have uh, the issue right there uh, and it goes back uh, whatever uh, was side swiped uh, went all the way to the back of it uh, Let's go around to the other side. Uh, looks like uh, some kind of vines growing back there. I'm, I'm not uh, one that knows whether it's poison ivy or any other poisonous stuff, so I tend to stay away from it. And maybe take a couple more minutes to do the video. Uh, looking at the, uh, the turbo uh, beetle, uh, overall body's looking pretty good. Uh, like I said, we've already seen the inside of it. Uh, window is uh, either down or missing here. Can't really see it. Don't see it just looking in there at it. So make sure you come out and take a look. Do your own uh, due diligence on these uh, vehicles. That's lot number two, your 2003 Volkswagen. Lot number three coming up, and this is going to be a 2018 Hyundai Tucson. No key on the Hyundai. Looking down the driver's side, she's looking pretty good here. Coming around to the back. Looking good back here as well. And got a flat tire over here on this side. Uh, 
With that being said, there is no mechanical work done here on site. You can blow up a tire or jump a vehicle, but no mechanical work is to be done here on the premises. I, was, hey, uh, mm -hmm. I had it running the other day on that particular one. I needed a screwdriver and stuff, and just the other day, it just didn't want to do nothing. So okay. uh, then they messed with the ignition, you know. Okay, so he said he had it running the other day. It uh, uh, was broken into, and uh, they had used a screwdriver to uh, start it up. Uh, so, uh, no key on it, but, uh, he said that he was able to get a, uh, uh, get it to start up, uh, with the use of a screwdriver. And that's going to be a look at lot number three, the 2018 Hyundai Tucson. Uh, let me see if that door is open. Uh, it has a broken window, so you can see the glass. Yep, it's in it. Uh, been in the door panel on the other side as well. Uh, peek at the back end of it. Once again, that's lot number three, the Hyundai Tucson. Lot number four coming up, and this is going to be a 2002 Mazda 626. No key on the Mazda. You see the damage on the front end mirror that's off on the side as we look down the side of it over here. Let's go around. You can see uh, your trim back here. The bumper trim is uh, not lined up the way it should be. Some damage right here on the rear on that uh, Bumper trim back there coming across over here. You can see the uh, wrinkles and scratches as we come down the side on the driver's side. Trim missing on the doors, both doors back up to the front. And that's going to be a look at lot number four, your 2002 Mazda 626. Lot number five, this is going to be. Okay, we're on lot number five. Uh, started right up with the jump and moving it forward and backward. This is the 2013 Mazda 5. And uh, actually sounds pretty good. As you can hear it there. Now let's take a look and walk around it. Got some dings as we come down the side over here. Around the back end, looking pretty good. Got some damage right here on the rear quarter uh, corner. And we come back up. Handles uh, been pulled off over here on this door. Um, we'll let AC him get blows. out. I'll get you a shot of the inside of it. AC um, blows cold. <laughs> door is open. Needs to be cleaned up. You can see some of the trim uh, has been pulled off around the shifter area. Uh, come out and take a look at it. Like I said, started right up without a jump. You were able to see it. Move it forward and move it backward. $85 on that key fee. Uh, all key fees are added to your hammer price at the end. Uh, it's the only uh, additional fee that you'll see on the vehicles. If there was a key made, uh, that fee will get added to your uh, final bid on the vehicle. And that's going to be lot number five. Lot number six, this is going to be a 1997 Toyota Corolla, no key on it, got a broken windshield, mirror is going on the side over here, looking down the side, you can see some scratches uh, back in there, looks like the bumper trim has been replaced, it's a gold, different color than the rest of the car, as you can see it. Uh, looking up the side here back up the driver's side and that folks that is lot number six your 1997 toyota corolla lot number seven coming up and this is going to be a 2023 tau 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 this is a pony 50 uh, no key on this one uh, you can see the cover missing on it uh, battery compartment battery is uh, not in it uh, looks like you have some covers missing here and there on it and that's going to be a look at it. lot number seven, your 2023 Tau Tau. Okay, we're on lot number eight, and this is going to be a 1998 Chevrolet S10, $75 on the key fee. And he's got the jump box hooked up to it, no battery in it, but uh, has the jump box hooked up. While he's uh, getting that connected uh, on us, you can see we've got two flat tires over here on the uh, passenger side. Little S10 pickup truck. Bit 
bit rough, but moves forward. And back in. Take a look at the uh, vehicle, uh, the rest of it here. You have some damage back here on the uh, back corner. Looking around at the very back end of it. She looks pretty good from the back end. Coming around the side over here. Got some scratches uh, down the side. A couple of little dings, a little small one right in there. It was open and there's a peek at the inside of it. Back up to the front end, the engine compartment is still open. There's a look at your engine compartment on it. And that's going to be a look at lot number eight, your 1998 Chevrolet S10 truck. Coming right across, we have lot number nine. This is going to be a 2014 Nissan Maxima, no key on the Maxima. You can see the damage up front up here with a broken glass, cracked windshield, scratches, dings uh, coming down the side over here. Going around to the back end, back over here. Back end's looking pretty good. I can see some scratches, and then once again, nothing major really jumping out at me. A few dents and dings. Most of the damage appears to be right up here in the front, as you can see. And let's go down and look uh, down the side over here. You got some damage around the mirror and scratches uh, where it was side swipe. And flat tire on the back side, uh, on the driver's side. Uh, I can't get the door to open up on this one, at least not this one. So, folks, that's what you're going to get. You come out, take a look. That's going to be lot number nine, your 2014 Nissan Maxima. Lot number 10, this is going to be a 2001 Honda Civic. You have the key on it. No additional fee on this one. At least uh, not showing up in my catalog. If it shows up online in the online catalog, uh, it will be there. Otherwise, uh, there will be no key, uh, no key fee added on it. All right, started it up with the jump, moved it forward, moved it backward. Uh, nice little wheels on it. So the engine compartment is open. Keep that in from the uh, Honda. Let's take a look at the body and see what we have going on. Some minor. Uh, Dings uh, coming down the side, nothing more major. Scratch right there on the back corner. Back end of it's looking uh, really good. Brake light, uh, uh, brake lights uh, seem to be working fine on it. And we come back up to the front. Looks like uh, the bumper trim has been replaced on it. Uh, painted it uh, gold to match the uh, rims that are on this one. Look at the driver's side come back up and that's going to be a look at lot number 10 your 2001 Honda Civic okay we're on lot number 11 and this is going to be a 1999 Saturn SL2 you can see where it's wrecked in the front uh, looks like it ran into a pole uh, uh, or a tree and did the damage in the front you can see uh, uh, peeling paint right here uh, coming down the side, faded and peeling paint, some scratch, scratches as well. More uh, peeling paint uh, on top of the deck uh, right here and down below on the bumper trim. Cracked tail light lens on the other, on the uh, driver's side. And let's go back up to the front uh, where most of the damage is. Uh, obviously, you can see it looks like uh, something uh, dropped uh, and hit it the windshield doing a number on it uh, door will not close on its own it's there look at the inside on this one and go back up to the front and that's going to be a look at lot number 11 your 1999 saturn lot number 12 coming up and this is going to be a 2013 chrysler 200 85 dollars on the key fee has the jump box hooked up to it. Has the 2.4 liter engine on this one. Trying to start. And not going to uh, catch and fire. So 
trying to, but uh, just not doing its thing on this one. All right, that being said, you can see uh, a couple of dings as we look down the side here. A uh, little wrinkle right there in the doorway. Nothing major, it looks like uh, uh, that's a cracked uh, window on the side over here. And tires are low over here, not flat, but low. Uh, you can see the trim, bumper trim there is loose on it. Looking down the side, looks pretty good down the driver's side. Come around to the back end, take a peek back here. Back end actually looks pretty good on this one, folks. And back up to the front, that's going to be lot number 12, your Chrysler 200. Lot number 13, this is going to be a 2002 Mercury Marquee. No key on the marquee. Looking down the side, looks pretty good. Some scratches, little scuff marks. Or built like a tank. As you can see, the bumper trim right there cracked on it up front. Look down the side, she looks pretty good here. Got some sporting stuff inside, basketball, etc of the vehicle. Back end of it looks pretty good. Body wise, she looks pretty good on this one. Uh, I'll show you a couple of basketballs as I look down inside. Back up to the front and that's lot 13. Once again, your 2002 Mercury Marquis. Lot number 14 coming up and this is gonna be a 2012 Nissan Altima. Been speckled, uh, I'm not sure if that's paint or just uh, chips in the paint. Uh, it's actually chips in the paint. Uh, so we have some scuff marks down at the bottom over there. Looking down the rest of the uh, passenger side, she's looking pretty good. Got a ding right here in the rear on the, the back uh, that rear quarter right in there. And uh, window is not not up all the way so some kind of an issue with the window being put up they put uh, tape over it to keep uh, the water out coming around on the driver's side a uh, wrinkle in the door right there as you can see and going to the uh, back end of this one let's see if i can get back in here a little bit get you a peek here's the look at the back end fading peeling paint Bumper trim, uh, just a little uh, ajar on this one. Needs to be reattached, lined up and reattached. This window is also uh, about the same way, so I'm not sure what's going on, but um, either one of them are closed up all the way. Glass is there. Folks, that is lot 14. Your Nissan Altima. Lot number 15 coming up, and this is going to be a 2012 Hyundai Velostar, Veloster, Velocitor. Jump box hooked up to it. Just clicking on this one. On the Hyundai, $100 will be added for the uh, key fee. It's all she's going to do, folks, not uh, doing anything. Let's see what the body looks like. You can see right there the bumper trim is uh, hanging down over here. Nice uh, bright color, uh, safety color, if you will. Nice, uh, nice green. And with the engine compartment open on it, there's the peak. Back up and look down. Like I said, once again, that bumper trim uh, hanging down a bit off of it. Look at your back end. And that's going to be a look at lot number 15, your 2012 Hyundai. Lot number 16 coming up. Lot number 16 is going to be a 2019 Kia Sportage. Has a jump box hooked up to it. no key on it when you're starting it up with a screwdriver or pliers or something to, to be able to uh, 
jump it. In this case, he used uh, some pliers uh, to be able to uh, hook it together and make the connection on it. So, uh, very clean as I walked down the passenger side of the Kia. As you can see, he started it right up with the jump and moved it forward and backward. Is very, very quiet. Looking pretty good on this one. Uh, where they broke in right there, you can see where they messed up the lock uh, assembly on it uh, when they broke in. And we'll go around, look at the back end of it. Let him clear out the side swipe, something down there at the bottom of the uh, rear door on the driver's side. And back of it's looking good as well. Don't see anything uh, really jumping out at me. Uh, it's like the body damage is mainly right here. And you can see where they uh, broke into the uh, steering column right there. Look at the rest of the car. Stolen and recovered on the vehicle. And that's a look at Lot number 16, your 2019 Kia Sportage. Okay, we're on lot number 17. This is gonna be a 2010 Mercedes C300. Has the key on this one. Uh, no, no additional key fee on my sheet. I uh, started up with a jump and moving it forward and backward. Let's take a look down the, down the uh, passenger side. And don't see really anything going on. This looks like just uh, rain marks it is uh, on it uh, that needs to be washed and buffed out. Um, engine compartment is open. There's a peek at that. While he's is, clear. Uh, the fog part, but the, uh, the, the metal part, the bronze part is missing. But it what? has the, the fog part to be able to dive with the fog. All right. Peek at the inside of the uh, Mercedes. Looks like uh, they have all their healthy uh, stuff in here that they uh, live off of, including uh, snacks and chips. Back end of the uh, C300. Back up to the front end. And that's going to be a look at your Mercedes lot number 17. Lot number 18 coming up, and this is going to be a 2008 Volkswagen Jetta. No key on the Jetta. See the trim hanging down in the front uh, on the Jetta. Got a cracked windshield. Uh, trim is loose. Uh, looks like uh, Fender over here has uh, been replaced. Um, and showing some surface rust on it. Scuffs and scratches as you come down, all the way down the side, you can see the dents on the, both of the doors right there, down at the bottom. Uh, let's walk around, see if we can climb through this without climbing into some of those uh, weeds that I'm not crazy about. All right, look at the back end of it. A couple more, a uh, few dings on the back end. And look up the driver's side over here. Uh, some dings on this side as well uh, in both doors you can see it looks like they uh, brushed uh, side swipe something coming down through there not not terrible but it is uh, uh, it does have some dings in it and scratches <clears throat> back up to the front and folks that is lot 18 your 2008 Volkswagen Jetta lot number 19 coming up and this is going to be a 2002 Mercedes Look down the side, no key on this Mercedes. You can see the peeling paint right there on the front. Have some uh, uh, issues right in there where it, uh, some damage. We'll get around to the back end. I can see some damage from here. Uh, but you have the trim that's missing there and where it was side swiped, some scratches and scuffs and scratches on it. Let's go around to the front. You can see where it's missing the bumper trim here. And we'll uh, go down the driver's side on the uh, sport 
a Mercedes Sport round of the back end. And back end looked pretty good. Uh, the damage that I was looking at from over on the other side looks like it's uh, bumper trim. Back over there, I'm not going to climb into the weeds. You can come out and look at it. Uh, same thing as kind of matching on both sides. Uh, bumper trim uh, damage. Uh, bumper trim is uh, issues on both sides. Tail light lens cover, and there's a little ding above the uh, lens uh, as well. Uh, uh, issues cracked or broken uh, right there. They have the red tape on it covering it up. And uh, the model on this uh, Mercedes is the ML600 little uh, sport model back up to the front and that's lot 19 your 2002 mercedes lot number 20 it's going to be a 1994 lexus gs no key on the lexus you see the damage on the front end uh, flat tire on the back uh, scuffed uh, where it come down the, the side of it side swipe something back in there uh, go around on the other side and get you a peek over there you can see uh, headlight is gone <clears throat> and that damage whatever they ran into kind of pushed the front end out of alignment and broke some things window back here either cracked or missing uh, can't really tell with that tape being on it there is an issue antenna broken off back here on the back corner and scuffs on both sides uh, back here on the bottom of the bumper trim on this one go back up to the front end and that's a look at lot number 20 your 1994 Lexus okay folks we're on lot number 21 this is gonna be a 1992 Honda Civic uh, no key on the Civic. You can see you have some fading paint right there on the hood deck. Some scratches and uh, scuffs uh, right there on the top of the uh, passenger fender. Looking down the side, uh, got some dings back in there on the uh, very back end behind the wheel. Uh, we'll get around and see if anything else looks uh, bad on the back end or uh, any issues. Uh, looking at the rest of the front here, uh, had some issues with the door uh, right in here where it, uh, the fender and the door meet. Uh, obviously been some issues in there. Cracked uh, trim back here on the uh, bumper area. Uh, don't see anything else. Uh, cracked lens cover over here on this side. boxes uh, just a, a peek at what you have going on in there and that's lot 21 your 1992 Honda Civic uh, lot number 22 coming up it's gonna be a 2008 Dodge Caliber $85 on the key feed has the jump box hooked up to it Get the jump. Move back. I need to make sure that in case it uh, comes at me, that I have an escape route. Every once in a while, we get one of the vehicles that uh, doesn't have brakes or has some kind of an issue, and we'll surge. able to move it forward uh, puts it into reverse and it doesn't uh, seem like it wants to go it cuts off when it goes into reverse it cuts off when you go into reverse yeah, it does go in reverse too it just won't don't stay running long enough to goes into reverse but uh, then it won't stay running long enough to, for it to be able to do anything all right so looking back up the driver's side she looks pretty good some scratches here and there, a little small rust spot right in there. Not uh, anything uh, half the size of a dime. And coming around to the back end, have some peeling paint back here, some scratches, scuffs. Nothing major that's really jumping out at me that I can see. 
and let's go back up a couple of little dings as I look back up the driver's side on this one uh, biggest one being right here in the uh, p passenger door rear right in there about the size of a quarter back up right, let's take a look at the engine compartment on it and folks that is going to be lot number 22 your 2008 dodge caliber lot number 23 this is going to be a 2003 infinity g35 no key on the infinity have your bumper trim hanging off here issues uh where it's hit something up here on the front corner looking down the side over there uh, don't see really anything glaring low tires they're not flat but they are in need of some air let's go around to the driver's side to see what we have on the driver's side this one is flat up right here on the front so uh, work our way past this and scoot on through we have uh, a few little scuffs and scratches as i look down the uh, driver's side look at the back end something uh, has hit back here on that uh, corner and also over here on this corner somebody uh, looks like learning how to uh, back into a spot or something uh, you know, both corners have uh, dings in it on the bumper trim down at the bottom your trim needs to be uh, reattached down there uh, it is loose I don't see where it looks like it's really damaged not from what I can see but uh, it does need to be uh, aligned and reattached Folks, that is lot number 23, your 2003 Infinity. Lot number 24, this is going to be a 2009 Chevrolet Impala. $85 on the key fee. Started right up with a jump. a belt on top up here uh, and yes that is your serpentine belt that is off so want to make sure that I pointed that out serpentine belt is off all right looking down the side over here pretty good uh, got a few dings uh, as I come down the side nothing uh, really jumping out as major but there are some dings go around to the driver's side and see what we have over here it looks pretty good as I look down the side scratches and scuffs not a whole lot look at the back end she looks pretty good back here as well and that's gonna be a look at your Chevrolet Impala lot number 24 Okay, we're on lot number 25. This is going to be a 2011 Honda Accord. You can see where she's wrecked up in the front. No key on the Honda. Uh, look down the side over here. She's uh, kind of wrinkled up over here as well. As you can see, uh, air curtain has deployed as well as the uh, airbag up in the front. I'd be surprised if it hadn't uh, deployed. You can see the damage right in there. Back window is broken out. Um, I'm going to walk around get you a peek at the back end on this one. Looking down the side over here. Actually looks pretty nice on the back end of it. Got the V6 in it. Let's open the door. Parts uh, from uh, the wheel uh, sticking in, sitting inside of it. And that's going to be a look at lot number 25, your 2011 Honda Accord. Lot number 26 coming up, and this is going to be.
Got an exhaust issue. Don't know if that's a cat that's been cut out on it or just what it is. I'm not going to climb under it. You can do that when you come out to look at it. Look down the side. She looks pretty good. Got some peeling paint here and there. I'll walk through the weeds on this one. Wake my way through. On the other side. And peeling paint on the back end. Don't see a whole lot uh, damage wise. Just peeling paint for the most part on the side. Peek at your inside of it. It actually looks pretty good, dirty. What I can see is you look pretty good. Engine compartment, there's a look. And folks, that is lot number 26, your 2003 Jeep Liberty. Lot number 27 coming up, and this is gonna be a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze. 125 on the key fee. Has the jump box hooked up to it. You can see the damage up here in the front on the uh, cruise. Engine compartment is there. Windshield wiper uh, working. Getting a click, and I think that's all we're going to get out of this one. And we'll see if it does anything. While he's uh, doing that, not going to do anything, Larry. Uh, she hasn't done anything the last two hours since she okay. got this Not going to do anything. Just click. So. This one had a uh, non-paying uh, buyer on it, so if it looks familiar, that's why. Banned uh, from participating in any of the uh, auctions we have. And that's going to be a look at lot number 27, your 2012 Chevrolet Cruze. Lot number 28 coming up, and this is going to be a 2006 Honda Odyssey, no key on the Odyssey. Looking down the side, you can see we've got some fading paint on here, some scratches. Got a flat tire on the back end over here. And look back up. Come around over here. Some scratches and scuffs. Don't see anything uh, major with dents or dings as we come up. Open, oh, looking at the uh, inside of it. Back up to the front end, and that is lot number 28, your 2006 Honda Odyssey. Lot number 29 coming up, and this is going to be a 2004. Toyota Camry, no key on the camera. Some peeling paint over here, fading peeling paint, scratches over here. Come down the side, low tire on the back, she's not flat, be close to it. Look back up, you can see the uh, bumper where the door meets up in the front, uh, the bumper, the uh, fender, where the fender meets uh, the door is out of alignment. Looking back up climb through that looks like some poisonous stuff to me that leaves on it you can see the damage back here on the uh, Toyota right in there for those of you who are coming out in here uh, like me that stuff seems to jump out at me and uh, next week I'm suffering from poison ivy or whatever it is Folks, that is lot number 29, your 2004 Toyota Camry. Lot number 30 coming up, and this is going to be a 2010 GMC Arcadia. Has the key on it.
Tried to start uh, for one, uh, one quick second here and then uh, shut right back off. Uh, you can see the damage up front with the uh, fender up here. Let's go down the side and see what we see. We've got an issue with the window here. I got the tape on it. Uh, the glass is there. Looking at the back end, got all kinds of uh, stickers and things back here. Back end of it, though, is uh, looking actually pretty good body-wise. I like their stickers. All right, back up to the front, and that's going to be lot number 30. Uh, I'm not sure if I took you down the passenger side or not on this one i don't believe that i did so let me uh just run down here real quick i apologize if i did do it i just don't remember uh, so anyway look at it uh, you can see the damage right here on the uh, passenger rear door it starts right in here at halfway down a few scuff marks up here on the uh, fender as well By, uh, bumper trim is out of alignment right there so that's going to be a look at it. That is lot number 30, your 2010 GMC. Lot number 31, that's going to be a 2009 Ford Edge. No key on the edge. See the damage up front? Looking down the side over here. Turn around and look back up. Got a flat tire back here on the back. Look at the uh, back end of it. She looks pretty good. Scuffs and scratches. Nothing uh, that I can see jumping out. Okay, let's get a peek at the inside as we come through. Back up to the front where the damage, uh, most of the damage seems to be. And that's a look at lot 31, your 2009 Ford Edge. Lot number 32, this is going to be a 2010 Hyundai Elantra. No key on this one. Got a cracked windshield. You can see the damage up front right in here. Let's take a look. Uh, door handle is uh, missing. Mirror over here on the side is missing. Uh, it tells me, yep, they've been inside of the door. Uh, over there, the trim is... Uh, Looks like the trim may be in. They've been in both doors the same way. I don't know if the trim is there. There are some parts inside of it. Coming around to the back end. Back end's looking pretty good. It's got some scratches and scuffs back here on the back uh, where you put your luggage in and she would uh, get scratched up. Some kind of tape or something going on here. I'm guessing it was put on there and it was a, a leak or something. Uh, flat tire on the back end on the driver's side. Back up to the front end, folks. That is lot 32, your 2010 Hyundai Elantra. Lot number 33, this is going to be a 1996 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra. No key on it. Looking down the side, this is another one of these cars built like a tank. Got a flat tire over here. Back when cars were made with some metal. And look at the back end over here. Some fading paint, otherwise she doesn't look bad at all. I don't even, uh, not seeing any rust even poking through at any place on it. The tire up here is uh, shot. And back up to the front end. Body-wise, she looks pretty good. That is lot 33, your 1996 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Lot number 34, this is going to be a 2004 Lincoln Aviator. $85 on the key fee. Hooked up the jump box to it. Started right up.
let's work our way back through here looking down the side of the aviator she looks pretty good we'll go around to the back side get you guys a peek back here she looks pretty good on the back end as well so far looking real good on this uh, aviator body wise peek at the inside there's a wood trim on it on the steering wheel leather and leather seating in there headliner uh, headliner looks like it's intact uh, don't see any issue there folks looking pretty good needs to be cleaned up looking down the driver's side and see a few scratches and scuffs on it up here with the paint the issue where it has uh, brush something as well that's going to be lot number 34 your 2004 lincoln aviator lot number 35 this is going to be a 2008 nissan versa no key on the versa you see the damage down below the fog lights are uh, running lights are uh, 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 pulled out the bumper trim is hanging down let's look down the side of it see what we have going on flat tire back here had a total blowout issue with the door handle right there as you can see part of it is the trim is gone mirror is there it is just pushed in let's go around over here i got a spot right there missing some paint on it and uh, starting to show some rust looking down the side here Handle is uh, totally gone on this side. My um, guess is where it was uh, broken into. <clears throat> Tool case inside. Don't know if there's anything in it or not. Look at the back end of the Versa. It looks pretty good. Scratches and dings. Nothing I see really jumping out. Uh, not going to open that door, but uh, there's a look at it back up to the front and that's lot 35 your nissan versa lot number 36 coming up this is going to be a 2012 nissan titan pickup truck it has a jump box hooked up to it 85 dollars on the key fee on the uh, titan to do anything uh what she does and got a cracked windshield on it window is down over here the glass is there body wise she looks pretty good over here on this side some scratches and dings come down the side after all it is a pickup truck only the first ding uh, really hurts on it If you have a ding like that, after you get past that one, then uh, the little ones don't make a whole lot of difference. Hit something over here, push the mirror in over here. I don't know uh, the story on that, but uh, obviously there's an issue with it. Let's go around to the back end. Back end of it uh, has some dings. Tail light lens over here on this side is cracked, as you can see. And that's gonna be a look at your 2012 Nissan Titan. Lot number 37, this is gonna be a 2007 Yamaha TTR 230. No key on the motorcycle. My guess is this is one of the uh, bikes that the uh, these uh, young kids are riding around uh, on the streets uh, here in the fine city. Usually when they come by and I see them, they're on one wheel. And that's going to be a look at lot number 37, your 2007 Yamaha. Lot number 38, this is going to be a 2003 Mercedes ML320. No key on it. You can see the damage up front with the bumper trim, the other trim right under, uh, right above the bumper trim and the grill. Got a flat tire up front flat tire in the back as well on the passenger side I can see uh, door parts 
on this side, the interior door part. And looking down the driver's side, have some dings here and there. Got some tape on the bumper trim on the bottom over here. That's about as much of a look as I'm going to be able to get you on this one. We go back up to the front. See if the door is open. Yes, it is. There's a look at that trim, door trim that I was telling you about. This door has been in. We've been in it as well. Cracked mirror on the driver's side mirror. And that is lot number 38, your 2003 ML320. Lot number 39, this is going to be a 2004 Toyota Camry Solera model. You can see the damage up front. No key on the uh, Solera. Damage up front up here where it's hit, side swiped all the way down to the back. Back up to the front. Most of that uh, appears to be trim, whether it's the bumper trim or the grill. Most of that damage uh, looks to be superficial. Uh, like I said, taking out the bumper trim and things on it. Uh, broken window over here. You can see where it's uh, somebody has uh, sideswiped it and done some damage. In addition to breaking out the window, it is open. There's a peak at the inside. Back up to the front, and that is lot 39, your 2004 Toyota Camry. Lot number 40, this is going to be a 2007 Hyundai Tiburon. No key on the Hyundai. Look down the side, she looks pretty good, needs a bath. Other than that, the body's looking pretty good all the way around. Uh, coming back here, got an issue right in there where the bumper trim meets uh, the hood scuff right there on the front right there on that front quarter got a ding in the door as i come back down here otherwise she's looking pretty good that seems to be where most of the damage is right in there coming around let's take a look at the back end we have some peeling paint back there but nothing uh, really major jumping out at us and folks that's going to be lot number 40 your 2007 hyundai Okay, we're on lot number 41. This is going to be a 2015 Nissan Sentra, $85 on the key fee. Trying to start up with a jump and not going to start, just uh, making some noise over there, trying to turn over and uh, ignite, but not doing its thing. Body-wise, she looks pretty good over here on the passenger side. Front end's looking pretty good as well. Minor scratch and scuffs. Got a ding right here on the door on the driver's side. Let's take a look at the back end of it. Century uh, looks pretty good on the back end as well. Some uh, seat covers on it. Actually looks pretty good on the uh, inside. We're back up to the front end. And that's going to be a look at lot 41, year 2015, Nissan Sentra. Lot number 42, this is going to be a 2006 Dodge Caravan. No key on the Dodge. Looking down the side over here, body-wise, she looks pretty good. Got some rust uh, stuff there that somebody has covered and uh, painted over. Right down there in the uh, wheel well. Going around to the back. Uh, we're going to climb through the weeds back here. Peek at the back end of this one. She looks pretty good back here. And that is not this car that you're hearing. Got the rust down at the bottom down there where you can see they put some, uh, some kind of body putty on it and tried to uh, take care of it back up to the front and that's going to be a look at lot number 42 your 2006 dodge caravan lot number 43 this is what you were hearing this is 2007 honda odyssey 125 dollars on the key fee started up with a jump moved it forward and backward 
and you got some peeling paint over here. Let's take a look at it. You can hear it, uh, what you got. And you can see the uh, rust that's up there. Peeling paint rusting up on the top. A little peeling paint right there on top of the doorway. And a look at the back end. This is going to be the look that you're going to get. Not going to go any more through there. You can see the uh, uh, scratches back there on the, the, the corner. And I wanted to make sure I pointed out the uh, peeling paint up here. The rust is starting up there, so it needs some attention pretty much right away. Engine compartment, since it is open. And let's look down the driver's side. And she looks pretty good as I look down the driver's side. Yeah, there's a couple of little scuffs here and there. Not a whole lot going on. Mirror is intact, just push in. So we can get the uh, vehicles in and out of here. And that is a look at lot number 43, your 2007 Honda Odyssey. Lot number 44, this is going to be a 2015 Nissan Quest. Has the key on it. Started it up with a jump. Moving it forward. And backward. So it sounds, really, it sounds really quiet on this one. And let's take a look and see what we have body-wise. Got a cracked windshield on it. Got an issue with the cover on the mirror. Mirror is there, it's just the uh, cover that's missing. And let's go around to the back and see what we can see. There's a peek at the back end of it. I don't see anything at all jumping out just some minor minor scratches on it body wise so far we're looking pretty good on this uh, on this one let's go over to the other side of the nissan and see what we have on the driver's side looking down the driver's side folks i don't see a whole lot going on here just some minor scratches and scuffs as we look down the side of it you come out and take a look at it but uh, for me she looks uh, pretty daggone good look at your interior on it just needs to be cleaned up upholstery seems to be good headliner uh, seems to be good got a flat tire up there in the front totally flat up here and that's going to be a look at lot number 44 your 2015 nissan quest lot number 45 this is going to be a 2006 toyota camry no key on it Got a ding up here in the uh, front fender right in there where it meets the door. Not not major, but it is a ding. Coming down the side, the rest of it, I don't see a whole lot going on over here. Uh, some scratches along the top edge of the uh, deck back there. A few little scuffs here and there. I think I had said no key on this one. You can see uh, some issues with the bumper trim right in there a little hole on it in the front of it coming down the uh, driver's side some scuffs and scratches here and there nothing uh, nothing that looks like it's too major uh, don't see a whole lot that looks like it's too major uh, on this one go back up to the front and that's going to be lot 45 your 2006 toyota camry lot number 46 this is going to be a 2002 ford escape no keys no wheels i can see some fluid down below uh, that's uh, leaking out on it but uh, uh, once again no wheels on this one uh, blocks will not go with it so when you uh, 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 are buying it you're buying the car and buying the car only <clears throat> looking down the side <clears throat> and look at the back end of it over here missing the uh, brake light lens up at the top I guess I should say the whole assembly is gone and once again uh, no tires on it you see that is pulled loose right there that, that rear brake brake light on the uh, driver's side 
back up to the front. Open up. See what you have. And that's going to be a look at your Ford Escape, lot number 46. Lot number 47, this is going to be a 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix. No key on the Grand Prix. And look at uh, the front of it. You got some scratches and scuffs. Got a flat tire in the back. Got a few little wrinkles right in there coming down the side. Look at the back end. Just some scratches and scuffs on it. Let's look up the uh, at the driver's side. Got a dent right there on the front fender. Look down the side of it over here. And you can see the dent right there in the uh, bumper trim. That's going to be lot 47, your 2006 Pontiac Grand Prix. Lot number 48 coming up, and this is going to be a 2003 Subaru Forester. No key on the Forester. A couple of uh, dings, as you can see, walking down the side of it here. Looking at the back of the Forester, all-wheel drive. Let's go back up and we'll walk down the driver's side and see what we have. Got a ding right here where the fender and the door meet together. It's been uh, hammered out, it appears. Back down to the back. And you can see the scratches and scuffs as we come down the side. And a different look at the uh, damage where that fender and the door meet. Back up to the front end, folks. That is lot 48, your 2003 Subaru. Lot number 49, this is going to be a 2005 Kia Sedona. All right, on the minivan. No key on it. You can see the damage right here on the Kia. Grill is missing uh, there. Bumper trim has issues. Uh, trim down the side and some dings and dents uh, all the way down on it. Window is, uh, appears to be broken out. It'll come down. Let's take a look at the back end, see if she gets a little better back here. Uh, back end is not looking too bad. I can see some dents mainly over on the other side over there. We'll try to squeeze through here. The dent being right in there where it's pushed in. Gas cap cover is missing uh, the door on it. Door handle right there is missing. Some uh, dents and dings on the door. Peeling paint. Back up to the front, and that's lot 49. Your 2005 Kia Sedona. Lot number 50. This is going to be a 2007 BMW 328. No key on the BMW. Got a cracked windshield on it. Looking down the side, got some peeling uh, paint on the uh, mirror right in here. The finish is peeling on it. Looking at the back, got a ding right here on the corner. This is another uh, vehicle that was bought and uh, issued with the buyer on it. So that's uh, why you're seeing this one again as well. Once again, uh, no paying buyers up to the city whether they want to prosecute. But all means, you will not be bidding again on any of our auctions with uh, the city of Norfolk or any other auction that we are conducting. All right, you got the bumper trim, uh, the trim down at the bottom of it down there, uh, as you can see is there. It needs to be reattached, aligned and reattached. Looks pretty good. Let's see if the door is open on it. It is. Uh, peek at the inside on the BMW. Back up to the front. And that is lot number 50, the 2007 328. Lot number 51, this is going to be a 2000 Toyota Avalon. No key on the Avalon. 
and down the side of it got a, a little ding right there about the size of a quarter on that rear door on the passenger side back end she looks pretty good let's go over and see what the driver's side looks like some scratches uh, up on the hood uh, scuff right there on the uh, bumper trim looking down the driver's side she looks pretty good from what i can see here the door handle is messed up i want to open it up and the handle part to open the door is not there That's probably a good sign. All right, and back up to the front. Folks, that's lot 51, your 2000 Toyota Avalon. Okay, this is gonna be lot number 52. It's gonna be a 2013 Hyundai Velocitor. All right, on the uh, Hyundai, you can see the damage up in the front. Let's go down the side. Uh, covering uh, the window that's uh, I don't know if it's broken out my guess is that it is uh, the damage on the back end mainly uh, bumper trim that is making it look absolutely horrible back there not sure what other damage there is but uh, that is making a mess out of it quick peek at the inside on the Hyundai back up to the front once again we have an issue with the bumper trim and there is a little bit of uh, the hood that has a, uh, a wrinkle in it right in there not uh, not big but uh, about the size of a 50 cent piece on uh, the damage to the the hood that's lot 52 your 2013 Hyundai Okay, we're on lot number 53. This is going to be a 2006 Mazda, Mazda 3. $85 on the key fee on the Mazda. Not going to do anything. Uh, she tries to turn over, but it's not engaging uh, to start up. Body-wise, she looks pretty good over here. Or the bumper trim is out of a line right in there that you can see. It uh, doesn't appear to have a whole lot of damage. Uh, damage right there, you can see we're backed into something. See the scuffs and scratches. Another uh, bit of damage right there. And we're at uh, side swipe something coming down through here. Going back up to the front. A little damage right there, about the size of a 50 cent piece on the door. Door is open. There's a quick peek at the inside of this one. And we'll go back up to the front end. And that's going to be a look at your Mazda 3, lot number 53. Lot number 54, this is going to be a 2010 Ford Edge says that we have a key on it. Got the jump box hooked up. While he's doing that, we'll look down the driver, uh, the uh, passenger side. She looks pretty good as I'm looking down over here. And just clicking is all she's going to do. And let's go around and take a look. Body-wise, she looks pretty good as I look back up over here it looks good got a couple of little small dings uh, back here on the back end mainly right in there at the bottom coming around was she doing anything there yeah i drove it over here ah you drove it over here all right all right I walked back around the other side he said that he drove it over here Trying to get that to start. Go back up to the front end. You can see the damage right here.
was able to get it to start up with the jump. And move it forward and backward. Actually, uh, sounds pretty good once it uh, got it started up. And that's going to be a look at the Ford Edge lot number 54. Lot number 55, this is going to be a 2003 Mercedes E320. No key on the uh, Mercedes. Actually, he has a key on it, yep. Got the uh, tape on the windows. Uh, the windows uh, glass is there. Just issues with it. Had uh, temporary tags from this year out of Texas. Look at the uh, back end of it. Turn it on the side. She looks pretty good. Peek at the inside. Up here. Did it have the mileage on this one written out of that? Yes. Okay. Battery compartment was in the uh, back of here, so. I uh, paused the video and now we're back up here. Started right up with the jump. Piece of trim that's hanging down that I could hear right there when he moved it forward and backward. It's a piece of uh, plastic trim. Try to point out what I see when I see it. Folks, that is going to be lot 55, your 2003 Mercedes. Lot number 56 coming up, and this is going to be a 2011 Ford Transit. No key on the transit. See the damage up here in the front. While well, he's getting cleared up on that one. We go down the side over here. On the transit. Look at the back end. Passenger side, back up to the front end, and that's lot 56, your 2011 Ford Transit. Lot number 57, this is going to be a 2007 Chrysler PT Cruiser. No key on the PT Cruiser. Body wise, she's looking pretty good. See a couple little minor dings here and there. I'm right in there, about the size of a slice, about the size of a half dollar. Coming around over here, PT Cruiser. She looks pretty good looking down the side of it. Gotta push the button before the door will open. Peek at the inside on that PT Cruiser. Up to the front end. See where they brushed something right here on the front corner. That is lot 57, your 2007 PT Cruiser. Lot number 58, 
is going to be a 1992 Ford Crown Vic. No key on the Crown Vic. The uh, car that you hear running is our next lot. It has some peeling paint on the Crown Vic as we look down the passenger side. Fading paint, peeling paint on this one. Um, don't think I can squeeze through there. Another walk around. damage over here where somebody ran into the side of it. Windows are covered in plastic. Uh, not sure if they're there. I can see the front window. Uh, the driver's window is there. Actually, I can see both windows. Don't know if they're damaged or not, but uh, I can see that both of them are there. You can see the damage on the door. That looks like it's where the, most of the damage will be. And that's a look at lot number 58, your Crown Vic. Lot number 59, this is what you could hear running. This is going to be a 2005 Ford Taurus. Started right up on its own on the uh, Ford Taurus. Uh, obviously, we have the key on this one. This one was stolen and recovered. And put it into the gear. Move it forward. And backward. Some trim missing down at the bottom. And a couple of uh, dings as I look back uh, down the side, mainly down there below the uh, passenger rear door. Damage in there. Looks pretty good. Tail light lens has some uh, sun cracks in it, but I think she'll I think it'll fly for an inspection. Side over here looking pretty good. Some fading paint, but I uh, don't see a whole lot of damage on this one coming around. Coming back up here, I got a wrinkle right there in the fender. Another uh, little wrinkle right there in the doorway. But don't see a whole lot major. Some damage right there in the hood. You can see where it's pushed down. And that's going to be a look at lot 59. Your 2005 Ford Taurus. Okay, this is going to be lot number 60. This is going to be a 2004 Ford Explorer. $85 on a key fee. All she does is click, folks. Um, that's all she would do, just to click, click, click. So, uh, damage wise, let's take a look and see what we have. We have uh, some scuff marks or something with side swipe right through there. Needs a bath. Look at the back end on the uh, Explorer. She looks pretty good back here on the back end. But, uh, damage there on the uh, bumper trim. Coming back up. Scuff mark right in there. Side swiped or somebody keyed it uh, all the way down from the front all the way back. Yeah, it looks like it goes, yeah, all the way back. Down the side. Uh, see if the mirror is there. Mirror is there. Yeah, look at your engine compartment on this one. Once again, $85 key fee added to the hammer price. And that's going to be a look at lot number 60, your 2004 Ford Explorer. Lot number 61, this is going to be a 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 on the truck. No key on it. Got that safety green color going for you here. You have the uh, uh, grill that's missing up there. Some issue with the bumper and the trim on it. Scratches and dings have come down the side. Toolbox will go. Got flat tire uh, on the rear back here. There's uh, some of your bumper trim right there in the back of the uh, truck. Got the uh, toolbox uh, on the back, uh, which will go with it. Got an issue right there with your uh, bumper latch, rusted bumper down here on the bottom. Coming around the side over here, got an issue uh, up on top. It looks like somebody's been in the, uh, the dash on it. I'll show you what we have going on there. 
my back up to the front end. And that's going to be a look at lot number 61, your 2001 Dodge Ram 1500. Lot number 62, this is going to be a 1992 Honda Prelude. No key on the Prelude. Have some uh, fading, peeling paint through there. Got a spot right in here where it's uh, got an uh, issue with it and it's starting to show some rust coming through. Out here on the flared uh, area, you can see the rust uh, popping through right in there. Right, let's go to the back. Back here, she looks really good back on the back end. We'll see with a couple of minor scratches back here. We'll come back up the driver's side. A couple of little issues here and there, mainly right there on the, uh, that, the rear well, tire well. Coming back up here, issue right in there where it's rubbed something. Back up to the front end, and that's going to be a look at Lot 62, your 1992 Honda Prelude. Okay, this is going to be Lot number 63. It's going to be a 2009 Volkswagen Rutan. Uh, take a look, see what kind of damage. No key on the uh, Volkswagen. You see the scuff marks down on the door right there. Looks pretty good. Come around to the back end, you can see uh, where something ran into the deck uh, on the right hand bottom side over there. And looking up the other side over here, there's some scuff marks on it. Looking back down the driver's side, she looks pretty good back there, folks, looking down the side. Some uh, little scuffs here and there. And that's going to be a look at lot number 63, your 2009 Volkswagen. Okay, we're on lot number 64. This is going to be a 1999 Chevrolet Express van. No key on the van. You can see the uh, rust right in there on the uh, hood right in there. And some trim missing down towards the bottom right here. Got a flat tire on the back of it. No key. Taking a look uh, at the back end of it. Looks pretty good from the back. Back here. Looking back up the other side. Uh, you can see. Body wash. It looks pretty good. And let's come around over here. And it looks like it has been uh, painted over the windows. Have some overspray. It uh, looks like some, excuse me, some primer put on it. Uh, trim issue down here. You can see it's been pulled off. Um, the rail, step rail down at the bottom is gone down, down the side of it right there. Back up to the front end. And folks, that is lot 64, your 99 Chevrolet Express. Lot number 65, this is going to be a 2000 Lexus GS300, no key on it. Flat tires on uh, both tires over here on the passenger side. Look at the back end of it. Back end of it is looking pretty good right here. The driver's side, she looks pretty good over here. Got some trim that's pulling loose down there. Window is uh, partially down. They have their uh, collection of uh, masks that are there. You can wear them while they're driving, change it. Looks like one for every day. Back up to the front end, and folks, that's going to be lot number 65. That's our last vehicle in the auction. Once again, we have the preview here on Tuesday, August the 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Appreciate you watching this. If this was a help to you, please hit the like button down there and hope to see you at the preview. Thanks again for watching.